I've, I've, if you, I've done other long rides as well. Do you want to know about those? I'm Alex, Alex Manari. I'm an 87 year old now, but I was 85 and 231 days when I completed Land's End to John O'Groves. Uh, I had to do it a second time. Well, the first time I did it, I just did it. And when I got back, my son and, and my grandson, they said, you must be the one of the oldest people to do this. So they checked out the Guinness World Records and sure enough, I was older than uh, Tony Rathbone was the record holder, the Guinness record, not 81 plus. So they said, well, well let's get the information. We've got to get witnesses, um, fill in great big forms, you know, pro forma. And when the package came, I didn't have any of the witnessing or a logbook or anything. So I said, sorry guys, you know, I, I just don't have the information. And they said, well, there's only one thing for it then. <laughs> You're going to have to do it again. And this time they joined me and uh, there were pictures galore. I don't know, I just, it was one of those things that you had to do, you know, I, I looked at what the things that you, one must do, you know, before, things you, how many things you must do before you die, and this was one of them, having taken up cycling in a serious way, which was quite late in life when I took up cycling, this is, I had to pack this in, because there wasn't much time left. <laughs> when I took up cycling uh, properly, when, I was a fellow runner before that, I took up cycling instead and I had a, an old metal bike which uh, I couldn't keep up with the lads in the Darlington Cycling Club on this so I bought, uh, I looked at what the other guys had and I said oh how do you find that, oh I've got a Sportive 365 so I'm going to have a, I came from near, I was brought up near Preston in Berska Bridge and so I thought I'll use the local lads and I'll get one of theirs so I got this Sportive 365 and it was a, a revelation to have a carbon bike and be able to keep up with the rest of the guys was an absolute revelation. Comfortable and you've got to like the bike, haven't you? You've got to feel totally comfortable on your bike, and I do on the 365. And I've used it for all these long tours, of course. The concept of the old person is a zimmer and, and staggering about and can't do anything. And there are lots and lots of people like me who are fit enough and so on to do all sorts of things. You know? And if I can inspire them and say, if they can say, well, I can beat that old soul, so, you know, I'm, I'm going to go out and do it. <laughs> then that, that's a part of my mission in life. And I'm going to keep going. I'm going to just, I don't know. This is, this is the adventure. I feel very, very privileged, by the way, that I can keep going. And I want to. You've got to want to, yes? If you don't want to, then you won't. I've got half an ambition that if I get, if I reach 90 and I'm still fit, then I think I'll have another go here. <laughs> well, the challenge is when you're never quite sure if you can do it, isn't it? You know, you, well, if I do it again, I'm not sure I'm going to finish it. You know? Yeah. But, but uh, my view is, if you take up a challenge, and even if you fail, you've learned something about it. Haven't you? Yeah. So it's not a total waste of time. You've reached the, you've reached your limits. And that's not a bad thing. Is it? It's on page 61. It is. Are you proud? Oh yes, yes. Smug. <laughs> is that more smug than proud, yes. <laughs>